uh, I, uh, it's so confused about that. So please come to the more center. So please, uh, I, I want to more close to you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, thank you for coming to my session. So I will talk about uh, uh, this title and uh, I will exp uh, explain about uh, uh, Japanese markets. So, and uh, <coughs> and uh, I want to uh, show you um, our software named High Five. So uh, let's start it. <coughs> uh, first, uh, who am I? And uh, I'm Atsina Katsugawa. I'm coming from Japan. So, and uh, I ran my business uh, uh, named Moongift. Uh, it's an uh, online media and uh, uh, introducing open source software every day from uh, 2004. So, and uh, maybe I introduced open source software 10,000 or more. Uh, and uh, uh, maybe I have a uh, biggest knowledge of open source software in Japan. So, and uh, I am an uh, evangelist of High Five. So, and uh, High Five is an uh, enterprise web uh, framework. And uh, I talk about High Five later. And today's agenda is like that. So at uh, first, I explain about the uh, enterprise IT market in Japan. So and after that, so uh, problem of HTML5 and JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is uh, introducing High Five. And the last thing is uh, DevOps uh, X enterprise company. And at uh, first, I talking about uh, enterprise market. It's a maybe uh, Japanese market is a little strange and uh, uh, growing originally. So maybe uh, maybe some some difference of your company, uh, your countries. So and uh, most of uh, enterprise companies has no development team in. Uh, own companies, they have uh, they have used you know, agency company or uh, they use you know, SIR. SIR is a uh, short of uh, system integrator, and maybe it's uh, originally Japanese culture. And uh, they ask enterprise company ask to SIR and SIR uh, design systems, and they ask to you know, uh, system developer company to develop their systems. And uh, one more thing, we love uh, offshore. You know, it's uh, us to uh, system development to other countries. Uh, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, we uh, used uh, Chinese companies, a lot of uh, Chinese company, but the currently uh, Chinese workers salaries so become high. So we moved to now Philippines and uh, India or Myanmar or Vietnam or uh, Bangladesh. So maybe uh, most of uh, enterprise company to move to uh, more lower mm -hmm. salaries countries. So maybe Myanmar, uh, Myanmar's economy grown up. So we have to move to other countries. It's it's like a gypsy. You know. So. Um, and one more thing, uh, yeah, uh, enterprise company's system moved to uh, 10 or 20 years. It's so long. So uh, most of companies used to uh, uh, very traditional or very old style system, like uh, support to uh, IE 5.5 or IE 8. And uh, some system use a uh, flash. And uh, another system using Silverlight. So, and you know, uh, Apple, Apple were killed uh, by Flash. So, uh, most of enterprise company have to move to uh, from Flash to other technologies. And uh, 
maybe uh, some of company use uh, Silverlight, but the, uh, most of company don't believe to uh, Silverlight, so uh, some company have to move to other technologies. So, and uh, um, if we use the uh, flash, flash technology, um, we have to move to the uh, next de facto standard technology, like uh, HTML5. <coughs> so, um, most of enterprise company feel about uh, uh, flash battery as but uh, they have to choose another technologies. So uh, HTML5 is a uh, uh, de facto and uh, uh, most of web browser company like uh, uh, Google or Firefox or uh, Mozilla or uh, Microsoft um, develop to a browser. So they, uh, most of enterprise company can believe it. So and, uh, um, and uh, HTML5 used to uh, desktop browser and uh, mobile browser, in the, uh, including tablets. So uh, they can use uh, web technology to uh, a lot of type of devices. So uh, we, our company uh, believe to you know, web, te web technologies and uh, HTML5. So uh, we uh, provide to you know, uh, HTML5 to as a clients, but but uh, HTML5 or JavaScript has a big problem. Uh, it's a too fast evolution. You know, uh, Angular or TypeScript or React or Webpack or Grab. Uh, Grab. So um, maybe if you were web programmer and uh, you use uh, JavaScript or HTML5, maybe you use uh, uh, like these technologies. And uh, you know this blog, uh, blog article, uh, it's a title, how it feel to run JavaScript in 2016. It, uh, it's a joking article, so someone want to Render text to web page using JavaScript, and uh, he asked to colleague you, uh, what type of technology is great now? So uh, uh, Twitter said uh, most of people are using uh, uh, React or Angular, and uh, <laughs> they use the virtual DOM and uh, but the. Uh, React or Angular have to use a GARP or Webpack and, uh, uh, and uh, like uh, uh, they write on uh, e e ECMAScript 2016 and uh, convert to uh, uh, JavaScript on uh, ECMAScript 5 uh, using GARP using uh, I forgot that. Uh, uh, sir. Uh, oh, Babel, Babel, oh yeah, Babel. So uh, if you want to just render text to web page, but the, you have to learn about a lot of type of JavaScript library or how to use it. So uh, maybe uh, it's a very simple uh, answer is uh, uh, using jQuery, you know. But the most of uh, uh, great JavaScript programmer hate jQuery anymore. So uh, they use a lot of type of technology and uh, uh, it's uh, so confusing. So please read, it, read this article, it's uh, so uh, funny. And uh, what is the problem? So uh, most of enterprise companies' projects is uh, one year or more. So uh, if we uh, started to, uh, last year uh, and uh, <coughs> one year or two years later, uh, project is done. So uh, at first, maybe uh, we choose the framework by Angular 
maybe uh, project started is uh, Angular 1.2. But the, maybe uh, we st started to uh, design, system design, uh, Angular update to 1.3. And uh, maybe uh, development dance, maybe uh, Angular upgrade to version 2. And uh, Angular is uh, 1 and the 2 is completely dif uh, different. So uh, maybe uh, <coughs> we have to change everything, or we have to use continuously version 1. So uh, and uh, our system moving on a 10 or 15 years. So maybe uh, five years later, Angular version up to now, version 4 or version 5 or version 6. So nobody uh, care about uh, old systems like uh, Angular 1. So we can't choose Angular or React for uh, system developments. I love, I love Angular or React personally, but uh, I can't choose for business. So it's like a uh, current restriction. Uh, maybe jQuery is an uh, old style technology, 2007. And uh, currently, 2017, we choose uh, React, Angular, or Angular 2. And <coughs> uh, our system moving on uh, 10 years, 10 years later, uh, what technology is trend? We cannot imagine it. So maybe uh, Facebook developed to uh, React, and uh, Google developed to uh, Angular. So, but uh, if they give up or they change their minds, so uh, maybe another technology, uh, we have to use uh, another technology in 2027. So it's uh, so uh, we afraid it. So uh, we want to believe the technology to move to move become uh, the facto standard. And uh, one, more pro uh, one more problem, uh, HTML5 or j currently JavaScript technology is so uh, need to uh, high, high skill. And uh, JavaScript is uh, a little tricky language than Java or uh, .NET. So uh, we, we need to learn uh, JavaScript or front-end engineer resources, but the uh, we cannot get them. Because uh, you know, uh, some type of game, game app using web technologies, uh, HTML5 or JavaScript, and uh, uh, gaming programmer gets a high salary, uh, maybe, uh, but the uh, system like internal or back office system engineer is uh, a little low. Uh, Salaries. So uh, most of game company collect tuna and uh, they get the every JavaScript engineers. So uh, we have a problem of a shortage of engineer resourcing currently. And one more example. <coughs> uh, it's uh, named uh, Oaknet. Oaknet. Uh, it's a Japanese company, and uh, they choose. Uh, HTML5 WebSocket technology to their business, but they cannot uh, collect engineer engineering resources in Japan. So uh, they decide to uh, uh, make a labo in Philippines, and uh, they collect to uh, uh, they hire the uh, Philippines engineers, and they uh, teach them to uh, HTML5 or JavaScript. So uh, <clears throat> uh, most of Japanese SIR or Japanese system uh, Japanese system develop companies uh, is uh, uh, afraid to choose to high technologies like uh, HTML5, like uh, and uh, 
web RTC or web sockets or something. So uh, if we want to choose uh, uh, like the technologies, we have to cheat. We have to teach the students who are new new uh, employees, and uh, <coughs> we have to cheat, uh, teach them. So uh, engineering resources is a big problem in Japan. So and uh, uh, there is a uh, problem and uh, how to resolve it. So uh, we uh, make a new web framework named High Five. And uh, High Five is a web platform for enterprise. And uh, uh, it's an open source software and uh, code hosted on uh, GitHub and uh, developed by it's an NS solution. It's a uh, Japanese-based SIR. Uh, and we aim to long-term maintenance, uh, maintenance-able systems. It's uh, like uh, five years or 10 years. And this is a high five uh, logo and the characters. It looks like a lava man. And uh, it, uh, this is uh, mainly futures. Uh, <coughs> we have uh, three type of products uh, currently. Uh, one type is a uh, HTML5 framework. It's named High Five, and uh, we released the uh, debug tools for uh, developing High Five systems. And the last is uh, Pitarium. It's a UI test framework uh, using Selenium. And uh, we uh, use uh, High Five used to uh, jQuery. It's a Maybe uh, it's a very old style, but the, uh, most of JavaScript developers uh, can use uh, jQuery. And we support uh, I, I8 or app. And uh, uh, some type of Japanese companies still using IE uh, because uh, their system have a flash technology or Silverlight technologies. So uh, we support uh, uh, from IE8. And uh, uh, our shift, uh, High Five is a MVC framework. And the uh, currently trend is uh, like a virtual DOM, like, uh, such as uh, React or uh, Angular or Vue.js. But the, uh, it's a, a little difficult to normal developers, so uh, we select to the MVC framework. And one more uh, features. Uh, <coughs> we believe to, uh, uh, we save the securities. Uh, so uh, we are testing to high five too much. And uh, <coughs> uh, we support to the uh, backward compatibility. So, um, Currently, version is uh, 1.23, but uh, uh, if you use uh, more older versions, uh, you can use continuously using High Five. And uh, last thing is uh, simple and uh, easy to understand. And this is a sample code of uh, High Five, uh, like a uh, Hello World controller. And uh, that's, that's uh, like an uh, uh, object, JavaScript object. And uh, <coughs> you decide to uh, container. It's a uh, DOM ID with Hello World controller. That done. It's uh, so simple. And uh, if you click the uh, uh, buttons with ID BTN, and uh, BTN click, and uh, you can see an uh, alert. It's uh, so simple. Uh, construction. And then uh, you can, if you decide to uh, container, so if this is a container ID, uh, <coughs> Hello World controller manage uh, this part. And the other controller decide to uh, this DOM. Uh, you can control to each controller 
uh, control each DOM. And uh, but uh, I want to see, I want to show you a little demo. It's like a uh, daily reports app. And if you are uh, maintenance engineers, or uh, you take a photo like that, uh, okay, and uh, okay, and uh, uh, if you use uh, uh, this chair is uh, good, and uh, this chair is. But like that, uh, you can uh, use a uh, finger and uh, like uh, shapes or something. Oh. And uh, uh, modified your photo, save to uh, uh, like that. So uh, our Five Five support to the uh, mobile or tablets, so you can touch uh, touch events or uh, you can use a mouse to uh, in the desktop browser. And uh, another example, it's a uh, typical Japanese internal systems. It's a very uh, m many informations on the single screens. So, uh, like uh, uh, you can you can decide to uh, searching conditions and uh, uh, update list like that. And uh, or. You can change to you know, sort conditions. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I can't move to you know, sort. And uh, choosing uh, details from list, like that. So uh, if you make like this, uh, ignore high five. So you have to uh, many type of codes, JavaScript codes. But uh, uh, if you use the uh, high five, it's uh, more simple. Okay. So uh, last things, uh, DevOps and uh, enterprise company. Uh, most of enterprise company, Japanese enterprise company hate DevOps. It's a deal. So because uh, they, they, want, they doesn't want to change system quickly or uh, often, um, no, no patch need to uh, update plan like a uh, uh, quarter or e annual or something. And uh, three or four times and the little updates per year. And uh, they have a uh, maintenance budget. Uh, it's a very big budget. Uh, but they have no uh, update budget. So if you want to uh, change the systems more good, but they don't want to they doesn't want to eat one eat. So and but they love test. Uh, so if you want to little change, but they need to test too much test. Uh, yeah, it's a skip. And uh, uh, test is uh, very important. So uh, many type of web browser like uh, IE, Safari, Android, Apple, uh, Safari, uh, Google Chrome or something, and uh, versions, IE8, IE9, or Chrome it has a lot of type of versions. 
and uh, uh, our development futures. So uh, unit. So we have to test uh, every system a lot of times. So uh, maybe most of JavaScript developer or programmers uh, writing the unit code, but uh, web, web browsers uh, render a DOM design sometimes design crashed. So uh, unit code is right, but the design fault. So uh, we have to check the designs. So uh, we release to Napitarium. It's a uh, one more uh, one type of uh, uh, web testing framework, and uh, this is an actual image, and this is the newest ones. And uh, what is different? So you can check sooner using uh, images. Uh, like uh, maybe red line is different, so you can check. Uh, UI designs so quickly, and uh, you can fix everything so quickly. So, and uh, it's a conclusion. Uh, Japanese enterprise company have a big budget, but uh, they need to move system long time, 10 years or 15 years. So, and we, did, we create a you know, high five for long term support systems. And DevOps is uh, very important, and uh, I love DevOps. But uh, uh, easy maintenance is uh, more important for uh, enterprise system, I, I think. So uh, thank you for attention. Any questions? No questions. Maybe it's done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.